All right, welcome back to Board Reviews. Nick here. Joe, you there? And we are reacting today to another UK comedian. Shocker. And we are checking out who today? Sarah Milliken. Sarah Milliken, indeed. And we're checking out the video entitled When Your Husband Changes the Bedding. Oddly enough, in our relationship, I do not change the bedding. I help you out with it. Putting it back on? Yep. I had a student randomly tell me that she her sheets get changed every day. Oh. And I thought that was extreme. Um, I wasn't going to tell her if it was up to me how long I would change it. Maybe once a year around Christmas oh gosh, time or stop, something like stop, that. Stop, stop. Well, what's the point? What's the point? I mean, come on. You've got to clean them. Come on. Oh my gosh, we're done. I'm disgusted. <laughs> if you like our reaction anyway, please don't forget to... Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of our next upload of videos. It's just one of those things. Don't ask, don't tell. It's very simple. I mean, we, we make life to be harder than it needs to be. I, I We're just going to end it right there, Nick. I feel so gross. <laughs> you really? Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Here we go. But obviously, doing this for a living, I get home very late at night often. And I got home at two in the morning once, and my husband was still up. And he said, I've got something to show you in the bedroom. And I thought, oh, I'm not in the mood. Let the dog out the crate. <laughs> went to the bedroom, my husband switched on the big light and gesturing to the bed, he went like this. Ta-da! Ta-da! He changed the bedding. Ta-da! You know, in that way that some men want a badge for something women do all the time. The Dovey cover he put on was a nice one. It's a really nice one. It's a white one that we have, and it has a stripe of kind of reddish flowers and a stripe of kind of bluish flowers. It's really nice. The pillowcases he put on were mint green. No. Everything does is white. I said, what have you done that for? He said, done what? I said, they don't match. He said, it doesn't matter. And I thought, oh, he's sort of right, isn't he? <laughs> and then I realised why it did matter. And I said, yeah, but when I go to change it again, if I haven't done all my washing, I won't have all my sets. And he went, it's going to be dark in a minute. And I thought, his reasoning is really sound. <laughs> <laughs> and even though it was two in the morning, I still made him change the pillowcases. <laughs> we got into bed straight afterwards. My husband's a really calm, easygoing, lovely man. He just started to fall asleep. I couldn't, though. I was wide awake because I was livid. <laughs> even though it was all fixed, I was still furious. <laughs> and I said to him, can I say something? And he said, of course. I said, you know when you hear on the news? That in America, a man has been stabbed 77 times in a frenzied attack by his wife. He said, yeah. I said, I get it. Oh, Did the police check the pillowcases? <laughs> Did the police check to see if there was a teaspoon <laughs> back in the drawer that had been rinsed but not properly f washed? <laughs> Did the police check to see if there was a toilet roll just balanced on the hoarder but not slotted on the f That sounds familiar. now why do we just try and get some sleep I said well I'm not sure I can he said why not I said well, I'm wide awake so he said to me in the dark in his most coquettish voice he said is there anything I could do that might help you fall asleep I said oh you could rub me butt until I pass out and do it quietly <laughs> oh you bugger understand why she's so angry oh my gosh i can understand like the if you like certain pillowcases and certain bedding and i understand that like frustration but they were changed i don't get it i don't get I love it. it you're like someone did it for me why mm -hmm. do i care yes it is funny though when you take the idea of something and all marriages or relationships or partners that live together, you have a natural order of chores and assignments. Hopefully. Hopefully it's not one just does absolutely nothing. But you have like your own things that you typically do. And so it's funny when the other person does your typical chore, like every once in a while, I guess something to be nice. And it, it takes so much. Did you notice? Did you see what I did? And you're like, I do that 55 times in a row. And you do it once and you want me to plot it. But you get like generally excited about it. 
And so I understand what you're saying. Like, looking from his point of view, like, he did this nice thing, which he's obviously noticed that night. He's never really done too much before. And then she's just ticked because it's just not right. It, it must be really nice, though, that they have, she has different sets for different things, like different pillowcases for this or that. We have, like, our set, and then once we get tired of it or it gets beaten up, we get rid of it sometimes, and then we get a new set. We don't have all these different... Could you imagine living that kind of a life? Oh, my gosh, that'd be so nice. And then I could see why you would change your sheets every night as opposed to, like, once a week. Um, I still can't see that. But what I do say is you're right, because, like, when I'll do something for you, I'm like, oh, I did it. You know what I mean? But I also get the frustration, because as you were talking, I was like, well... I guess there's been some times that you did the laundry and like ruined some of my clothes, so I got kind of mad. <laughs> yes. And then what's the rest of the story? And now you do laundry a lot. <laughs> and now you do laundry a lot. No, we won't get too much into it, but it's gone both ways with the laundry, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, but yeah. When, I ruined some of it, your clothes. But when something sure. is your job and then someone else does it, like the house chores, and they mess it up, then you do, you get kind of livid because like, I was doing it every single time. I do it correctly every single time. And the one time, it made me think of Monica from Friends. Yes, oh my gosh, that's so Monica. But see, and that my thing is though, is like, yes, and I get what you're saying. So it is frustrating when somebody messes it up, especially if it's permanent damage. Like we had these blue shirts for our work and I totally ruined um, one of our kids' brand new shirt for school. And then our daughter accidentally threw that shirt in with her clothes and then ruined several of her clothes. Oh my gosh, the worst shirts ever. Yeah, just oh, where do you get your shirts from? Leak, leak, leak. It's the union. No, I know. But where yeah, do you get the shirts from? So I have to wash them separately now. Um, but, but at the same time, when it's something as simple as a pillowcase and they change the pillowcase. She can't get over it. Girl, let it go. Like, <laughs> seriously, she was, let it go. She was pretty angry and her sweet husband, like, Jenny, I can do it. <laughs> But she was so mad. I don't know. I tend to, I tend to get over things fairly fast, fairly fast. Thank goodness. Yeah. Fairly, or verily, or I have no idea. But if you enjoyed our reaction anyway, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment below what your thoughts are on the matter. And until next time. Goodbye.